I've finally received America's Thrift Supply Box. Of It's a handbag and an accessory. So if you're interested, stay tuned. everyone my name is Andrea if you're new here welcome to my channel and welcome to the babe cave <laughs> and as I mentioned I finally got the America's thrift supply box but I didn't get the five piece because that thing sells out within minutes and I have not been able to do that unlike Andrea from gratefully blessed in my mess I'll link her channel down below, but she always gets the five box um, from America's Thrift Supply, so I'm very jealous. <laughs> I don't know how she does it. Like, my finger is not fast enough. <laughs> I already opened this box. I'm going to do something a little bit different here where I'm going to show you what I got, and I already cleaned them up, and then this is this box, to me... Well, one, it's a mystery, which I already know the the items, but a lot of resellers like to get these boxes to resell in the secondhand market, such as Poshmark, eBay, or Mercari. So I got this box, and uh, I will show you the items, and then I'm going to show you on my computer what these items would go for if I resold them, which... I'm for sure selling one of them, so if you're interested in either one, I'm I'm contemplating. So if you're interested, just uh, message me on Instagram and we'll work out something there. Let me show you what I got. Yeah, it's, it's in a giant box, but it came with... <clears throat> in this box, it gives you... Each one's individually wrapped. And it came with the authenticity paper and uh, this is the Kate Spade black pebbled leather handbag with gold hardware well it's not pebbled leather <laughs> it's not correct because this right here is the Safiano type leather cross grain whatever you want to call it uh, leather and it has no back pocket but it's like a, a night out clutch and there were some spots that I had to rub on to get it clean. But it's just a cute black clutch. And what I'm contemplating keeping this is the for this reason. <laughs> when I open it, BAM! <laughs> As Yoda would say. <laughs> Look at that interior. Black and pink is like... My favorite combo. <laughs> so that makes me kind of want to keep the bag <laughs> in a way. I don't really necessarily like this scratchy cross grain Safiano, but I do like that interior. <laughs> but it has one slit pocket on this side and the zipper pocket in the back. And it says Kate Spade. If I didn't mention, yeah, it's Kate Spade. And it comes with a, it doesn't come with a detachable strap. It comes with this part chain with the, the leather strap, crossbody, you know, pretty plain. I got this box for $40. And I signed up for America's Thrift Supply as a new customer. And you get 15% off. So this box was normally, I want to say 50 and I think I paid around 40 This Kate Spade, I'll look up some comps for resale on it. because, um, And I'll show you how I end up searching for bags uh, online to find what they cost. So this is my first one. It's not bad. I mean... You know, it's it's nice. The inside is clean. There's just a couple of spots maybe at the bottom that I didn't get. But other than that, I've already cleaned the outside. It has a 
magnetic closure. It needs, it's been smushed a while, <laughs> so it needs some stuffing, but that's my first item. I was wrong. I paid $45.99. I got the box for $35.99 and shipping was $10, so it was $45.99 with my discount. And it's called the Authentic Designer Purse Mystery Box. <laughs> The second item, it didn't come with any uh, authentic papers, but I know it is authentic. It's a coach. It's a double wristlet coach uh, with the light khaki color. There's the bottom. I cleaned it up, but there wasn't really much wear to speak of on it. And it has the leather zipper pulls. And that, I believe this is a chalk color. It's, and it even came with the little hang tag with it. And these are just double zip corner right here. And there was a, there was a penny stuck in the worst spot. So one of them would not open all the way. But we got the penny out that was stuck in the little gusset here. But yeah, here's the interior double zip. And that side has the two card slots. But yeah, just a nice little going out wristlet. And I'm for sure listing this. I just don't use little wristlets like this. So again, I'll be uh, looking at comps with you and see what these are going for. Let me give you a close up. There's the coach. Gold hardware. I don't have any in this light khaki color with the chalk and uh, even the fabric on the white parts clean so this is a good little resale item did I show you up close the, the black there's one spot right there that I couldn't get out but when you're back here you can't see it so here it is up close See the cross grain and then the gold little Kate Spade right there. Get that in focus. So now let's go to the computer and I will show you what some comps are for reselling. If that's what you do, a lot of people, like I said, do these thrift boxes for resale. And I didn't know what was going to be inside to know if I wanted to resell or not. <laughs> and uh, so I wanted to show you how I search for items like this if I want to resell. Just start typing coach double wristlet in the khaki color. And I also added chalk because there was a lot of them that came up so just type in chalk and then you see some coming up right here and this one is new so it's $68 new so I wouldn't list it for $68 So now we're going to go back and see if there's any more on the secondhand market. And there's one right there for $50. Let's click that one. Nope. So I just start going down to see like an average of what things are selling or listed for. But really you could also look at what they've sold for as well. So this one said $45. Also new. <laughs> So sometimes the prices are all over the place. It depends on how fast you want to sell your item. If you want to sell it quick, probably 20 or $30 is what I'm going to list it for. Because I would like to make my money back from this box uh, with this wristlet and the Kate Spade purse. So I'm just scrolling down, seeing if there's anything also listed. There's another one, and it says $30, so I'll probably list it for 30 
So let's get on to the Kate Spade search. And on this one, I typed in Kate Spade black crossbody with pink interior and several black purses show up here I go to the shopping button on your tabs scroll down here see if I see a similar bag I can see this one's kind of similar to it. The spade symbol is different, but it has the pink interior and it's for $60. And so there's the pink inside. So I may list this for $60. I'm not sure. I might go look again here. I'm apparently starting over. <laughs> Going back to shopping. There's a lot of variations of this bag. And I found one that had black interior. I think this is it. Yeah, this one is called the Alec. Charlotte Street Alec Crossbody. And I believe that's what this one is called. Here I find another one. And it's listed for 70 with a different... Doesn't have the spade on it, but it's a similar bag but with black interior. So, overall, I... I can sell both of these and get my money back what I paid for the box if I want to resell it. So this is how I search through Google to find the prices. So thank you for watching my America's Thrift Supply Box. Hopefully it's not my last one. I really want to get the five, one, five box one is a great deal. Um, I think you pay around the same for the five pieces versus I only got two pieces. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you don't mind, hit the like, subscribe, comment down below. If Again, if you're interested, I would be willing to negotiate a price, uh, and if you want to follow me on Instagram, I'm over there, and if you're on Pinterest, I, I'm on there, and Twitter, and I will link America's Thrift Supply Box website down below. I'm not affiliated with them. I just was curious and I wanted a mystery box. <laughs> I've really contemplated the Portland Leather Goods mystery box, but I'm kind of a control freak on my handbags. You know, I like to choose like most people like to choose. <laughs> but this seemed less risky and cheaper way to do it, so... Anyway, thank you for again for watching, and don't forget to hit the subscribe. It's free, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!